it is hard to see how the universe can be a gigantic perpetual motion machine because no process in nature is capable of operating flawlessly by converting 100% of its energy into useful work. There is always heat loss or friction that at any given moment of existence leaves the universe with more entropy or disorganization than the moment before. These irreversible processes of heat energy exchange with heat energy always flowing from hot to cold and friction always changing motion into heat forms the arrow of time with the whole universe aging continuously changing by a process that can never be undone. This gives us a scientific explanation why everything in the universe grows old and eventually dies. The best way to understand this is to think of the universe as a continuum that is not perfect. Because of this it is impossible for us to build a perpetual motion machine. We would need 100% energy efficiency to do this and that would be against the laws of classical physics. But there is one process that is 100% efficient and that is matter-antimatter annihilation with the exchange of photon energy forming the movement of charge with a continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. In this theory we can think of classical physics as processes over a period of time as in Newton's differential equations and quantum physics as the mechanics of time itself as a physical process. The spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy is forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we experience as the passage of time. This would explain why there is no concept of time in the subatomic world of the atoms. The concept that we see and feel as time is formed by photons interacting with the electron clouds of the atoms that form the periodic table. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that even when objects are stationary and there seems to be no motion, there is always the perpetual motion formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy. Each and every part of the universe, living or non-living, is undergoing this universal process of energy exchange, with an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In this theory, at the smallest scale of the process, the antimatter annihilation represents the past, with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle mathematically representing the future uncertainty of everyday life. This is logical. Photons only interact once, forming photon-electron couplings, or dipole moments, and then they are gone forever. Just as photons are not conserved, there is no law of entropy conservation as the future comes into existence photon by photon. But there is a law of energy conservation, with the future being 100% relative to the past as a process of energy exchange, with the energy never being created or destroyed but merely transforming from one variety to another. This theory is based on the scientific method of speculation, observation and experimentation and below I have placed links to videos explaining how electromagnetism and gravity are part of one universal process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. with an uncertain future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share 
it will help the promotion of this theory.